Hi, this is Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a lovely current generation IWC Portuguese automatic, the 5007-05 in stainless steel, 42.2 millimeters in diameter. This model launched back in 2015 represents the latest and greatest in the world of self-winding Portuguesers. If you've ever wondered why they're ultimately called Portuguese and Portugueser, well, Portugueser is German for Portuguese, and IWC Schaffhausen is a famously German-speaking Swiss watch brand. So, depending on your particular lingua franca, ironically, German being that of this watch, it may be Portuguese or Portugueser. The timepiece is easy to wear at only 14.2 millimeters thick. I expected more given the seven-day power reserve, the power reserve indicator, the automatic winding, and the date. And with a concave bezel, it does slide under most cuffs. I've never had a problem, even with a tight dress shirt with a watch of this dimension. You will find that it's broad across the wrist, but not unduly so. 50.5 millimeters, and you can see that the shape of the lugs is very agreeable for a smaller wrist. So though it is large, I could say even on a wrist as small as 14 and a half to 15 centimeters circumference, you're gonna wear this one easily. Remember, ever since the first reference, 325 of 1939, the pocket watch powered wrist watch that was the original Portuguese. The Portuguese has been the original oversized watch, so the look is supposed to be big. This is no date just, nor it is an is it intended to be. Uh, the timepiece does have a broad spacing between the lugs at 22 millimeters, so it has a nice planted stance on the wrist, and I like that proportionality between strap and lugs and case. The strap itself is beautiful. Large rectangular scale alligator leather. You can see it's unbolstered. It's a semi-gloss. It has a thin sheer edge with a monotone stitch, and you can see on the underside calfskin, this is a new IWC factory strap. And it features a high-grade IWC full steel deploying clasp. You can see the IWC logo externally, frosted and polished. There are polished bevels on the buckle externally, and there is a clasp that features blasting on the inside, blasted finish, as well as polish. So three different finishes on the clasp alone, and security against dropping while donning or removing at bedside. True to its 1930s design roots, form follows function here with blended lugs and case profile, with a rather thin case profile, and a contrast between the polish of the case back the polish of the bezel and the satin of the case flank. The lug hoods themselves are polished and you can see the crown with the IWC logo and motto is all of high polish and rather minimalist. The bezel is concave. It actually bows inward to visually pair the mass of the watch. And as with most Portuguese and Portuguesers, the dial is effectively the entire case. So the bezel is highly minimal. The dial is a frosted matte silver, protectively would call it opaline, and it features applique indices and Arabic numerals. All of this is true to the original 1939 design, right down to the sub-seconds, albeit in a new location, as the original sub-seconds would have been down at 6 o'clock. The original leaf hands, still present and correct, and a handsome contrast between the black, the blue, the silver, and the red of this dial. There is a power reserve scale at 3 o'clock that tracks the 7 days of power reserve, and there is a small railroad style track for the constant seconds at 9. The watch features a stop seconds function. It also features a quick set date, so you can rapidly cycle the date should the watch run down or encounter and a regular length month. All of this water resistant down to 30 meters, so it's not an aquatic watch, but you will have splash protection for the caliber 52010. 31 joules and adjusted in a chronometer like five positions. The watch is able to take and hold that five position regulation in large part due to the stability afforded by the free sprung balance. The balance features an overcoil hairspring made by hand, the better to help it keep excellent time in any five positions or even six. So you have that overcoil hairspring for concentric beating of the hairspring in any orientation on the wrist. You also have a high beat rate, new for the 52,000 series rather than the old 50,000 series and 5,000 series. You've got a 8 beat per second, 4 hertz, or 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate. This original movement, when it bowed us the 5,000 in the year 2000, was an 18,000 vibration movement. You could see that the Peloton bi-directional Paul-based winding system, still tough and efficient as ever, but now with both Paul wheel and Pauls in ceramic, so there's no lubrication and there's no sedimentation necessary. The original could have created some dirt on the movement, and I've seen that periodically here with ceramic. That is forever remedied. One of the problems of the original 5,000, 50,000, 
50,000 and 51,000 series was the single mainspring barrel. When fully wound, the watch would run too fast. When discharged, it would run too slow. Now with twin mainspring barrels under a new skeletonized bridge to reveal them, you have stability of timing from full wind to minimum wind, and the watch features largely skeletonized bridges for all systems, so you can see train wheels as well as barrels. A circular coat to Genève, you also have satin finish, there's an engine turning on the base plate, and all the screw heads are black polished. This is a beautifully executed movement, albeit mostly mechanically finished, but it's also important because not only is it good to look at, it's handsome and well engineered, undoubtedly, but it is one of the largest automatic winding calibers in the world, thus it is properly sized and shaped for this case, one of the hallmarks of a true manufacturer, and Schaffhausen is that. You can see this IWC Portugieser automatic 5007-05 and make it yours on the watch box.